Tonight, we're hearing new reaction from parents following the announcement that the Clay County School District can pursue its own police department. The district was given the green light by FDLE today. Just hours before the Clay County Board of Commissioners met this evening, Sheriff Daryl Daniels removed his plan to try and keep his deputies in schools, it removed that plan from the meeting agenda. The sheriff says it's because there was no interest shown from most of the school board members. Superintendent Addison Davis, though, tweeted saying that he was excited about the possibility of the commissioners reviewing the sheriff's plan. News from Jackson reporter Corley Peel is joining us live in Clay County, showing us what parents think about the district's police department and the sheriff backing out. Corley? Since the sheriff withdrew his plan from the meeting, no action was taken tonight by the commission, but parents were still able to share their thoughts about the district's police department and the ones that did speak say they're not pleased. The FDLE approving Clay County schools to move forward with the district police department draws concerns for parents like Misty Mason. I believe they're jumping the gun. I believe that they're allowing something to move forward without actually sitting down and looking at the whole picture. I think that it's way too fast. And first of all, they never even asked the citizens of Clay County, the parents of these kids in these schools, what we wanted and how we felt. According to the district, the police department would consist of 47 members. Sheriff Daryl Daniels created his own proposal for school resource officers, but chose to pull the plan hours before the Board of County Commissioners meeting on Tuesday. At, at this point, I don't think as a citizen or even as a parent, we're saying it's a hard no on the school, on the school board having their own police department. Our main concern right now is the lack of time that these people are going to have in training in order to protect our kids. Parents who spoke out at the meeting feared the district's police department will force them to be double taxed. They're now hoping the commission will defund the school board. And we're not stopping. This is, this is just a, a get up right here. We will go to Washington if we need to. Mason says she wants transparency and to know exactly where her taxpayer dollars are going towards. Out of all the parents who spoke tonight, none of them said that they were for the district's police department. Reporting live from Clay County, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.